Hey guys, today I'm reviewing the 2019 Rolls Royce Phantom, AKA the Phantom 8. I'm really excited for this one. I've been waiting a long time to get a chance to check out the new Phantom and uh, see what changes they've made over the last one. Many obvious, but some not so obvious. So uh, we're gonna go take a look at the outside and uh, you know look at all the new changes. And then we're gonna take a look at the inside and all the new features. All right, let's go check out the outside of the car first. All right, we're gonna do a little review today on the brand new Rolls Royce Phantom. It's quite an impressive turning radius. All right, here it is. 2019 Rolls Royce Phantom. Also known as the Phantom 8. It's definitely one of the largest cars I've ever seen. Very imposing, especially in this fully blacked out exterior. This came out in 2018, but this being a 2019, nothing has changed, obviously. The same basic shape of the Phantom is retained with changes to the wheelbase and the overall length of the vehicle. Still has that iconic large radiator grill the Rolls Royces are known for. But one thing that definitely stands out is the new front end, specifically the headlights. They're full LED units. And I'll turn those on in a second so you guys can see them with the hazard lights. This vehicle features adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, stereoscopic cameras, which is for the autonomous driving assist system. Got your front camera right here. Well, the spirit of ecstasy which you can retract basically on command if you don't want to drive with it out and this vehicle features a surround view 360 cam parking system very handy as well as blind spot monitoring Standard 22 inch wheels. They actually look small in this car, which is pretty funny to say. And just like previous Phantoms before it, gotta love that tapered rear end. Where there's just one continuous body line, goes all the way down the side of the car, and then ends nicely right here into those heavily updated taillights. The Rolls Royce logo right in the middle full LED units as well. Same with the parking sensors that wrap around the bumpers to help with the self-parking system. Special thanks to MPH Club in Miami for allowing me to uh, take this beauty out today and uh, give you guys my opinion on it and just show you all the ins and outs. I especially love all the detail in the headlight. You have the Rolls Royce logo, big LED active projectors. All right, let's turn them on real quick so you guys can see what they look like. One thing I love about all Rolls Royce models and Bentleys too, is the headlights controls are straight out of the 70s, possibly before then. All right, so let's turn on the headlights. I'll turn on the hazard lights. Nice new digital cluster. Not fully digital, still has the uh, chrome bezels, some physical parts, but it adds a nice timeless touch instead of just putting a big screen there. All right, we got the full LED headlights, LED high beam and low beam with the turn signal as well. You actually can't even tell that it's there until it's on. It's pretty cool, nice design. Let's go around to the back. Takes a minute to walk to the end of the car. So big. We got the rear. 
also full LED units. Got the inner part where the uh, logo is lighting up is the turn signal. And you got the brake lights surrounding it. We also have side indicators here. On the front fender, it's the Rolls Royce logo up above it. And one thing that's found on every Rolls Royce model is the floating center caps. So at any speed, the RR logo always stays upright. It's really the little things with these cars. There's a lot you can miss if you don't you know, stop and slow down and pay attention to what's uh, really put into these cars as far as detail. And you can see that the car does not have a panoramic roof. So that can only mean one thing, that it has Rolls-Royce's famous Starlight Headliner, which we're going to check out in a second. Of course we're going to go into the back, because it wouldn't be a proper Phantom review if we didn't check out the back seat and everything that it has to offer. This is a proper uh, James Bond bad guy spec, I, you know, you can call it that. You got full black leather seats, door panels, dashboard. Probably some of the nicest speaker grills I've ever seen. All right, let's check out the inside of the Phantom 8. Has uh, just under 6,000 miles on it. It's what I would call basically a brand new car. All the piano black wood trim is just great. You can have the raised phantom letters over here, which is a very nice touch. This is actually called the gallery. So these cars being fully bespoke, you can actually commission Rolls Royce to put whatever you want back there. Whether it's hundred dollar bills, your favorite color, your favorite style of wood, your favorite you know type of leather. It could be anything. A piece of art, maybe. All right, so being that the door is all the way out there and probably weighing as much as a small hatchback, you gotta think, how do I close it without either falling out of the car or looking very silly while doing it in the process. There's actually buttons up here. One for the driver's side door and one for the passenger side door. And on previous Phantoms, those buttons weren't there. You had to close the front door manually. You only had power closing doors for the rear. You can see back there. So, the press of a button. Just like that. We're in our own cocoon of luxury. And there's that starlight headliner, which is one of the most unique features on these cars. Talking about the uh, bespoke aspects of these cars, if you order one of these new, you can also have Rolls Royce put any constellation of your choosing or any pattern. It could be the, the night, the way this, the night looked, uh, the way the sky looked the night that you were born, the way that your child was born. It could be anything you want. All right, so looking around, the inside is not as dramatically different as the outside. I would call it a heavy facelift instead of a complete redesign. You've got the new infotainment screen. It has the uh, surround view. You can go around to each camera, every angle. Which is very cool. And you've got all your hotkeys, shortcut buttons, air conditioning controls. You've got your ventilated seats, which on a hot day in South Florida is very nice to have. You've got dual cup holders. This is kind of like the command center here. You've got the Spirit of Ecstasy logo, 
emblem. And all your uh, shortcut buttons, media, telephone, navigation, just the map. You got the button to lower the car, which we're actually going to do now. So this is putting the air suspension in a lower setting. And the amount of detail in this car is honestly staggering. There's nothing that you'll touch in this car that isn't either wood, metal, or leather. Everything. The embroidery on the headrests, the button just to adjust the headrests. This is just exactly like sitting in my couch at home. The door panels, everything, dashboard. Can't imagine what it's gonna be like when we get in the back seat. All right, so now let's take a step into the back seat see what it's all about. Soft closed doors, of course. All right, so just like with the front, we actually have a button back here to let us close the door. I'm actually not sure if this is the long wheelbase variant, but sitting behind myself, I've got more than enough leg room to be uh, comfortable. So the craftsmanship in the back is uh, not surprisingly just as nice. Got these pillows, which actually feel incredible. And the Starlight headliner actually extends all the way to as far as back as possible. You got rear cooled and heated seats. Got all your volume controls. The footrests, which I actually haven't tried out yet. Let's see what's up. Uh, wow. I don't know if you can see that. Got all your AC controls. Storage, cigarette outlet, nice pop out cup holders, got your power seat controls, both sides, more storage, all right we're going for a quick ride in the Phantom 8. Got our door button here. Just like that, the whole world goes away. All right, guys. Well, that should do it for the review of the 2019 Rolls-Royce Phantom. And um, thanks again to MPH Club in Miami for allowing me to review this beautiful machine. Uh, it's actually available to rent at uh, their facility at the Opalaka Airport. Just give them a call and uh, Reserve your appointment with this beauty. All right, guys. See you next time.